Hi, I'm Lizzie and my book Saturday Night Pasta Recipes and Self-Care Rituals for the Home Cook is now out and I wanted to introduce you to someone and this is Forrest who plays a very special role in Saturday Night Pasta which you can read all about it in the book. So Saturday Night Pasta teaches self-care through the humble act of making pasta and it was a ritual that I created as a way of dealing with my own um, anxiety. The book is filled with mantras and stories and recipes and step-by-step -step exercises on different pasta shapes. And today we're going to make one. So today we are making a shape using a semolina dough. I have two dough recipes in the book. A very simple egg dough, user-friendly one, and a semolina dough egg dough, semolina dough. Um, semolina dough is the simplest dough you can make as it is two ingredients, flour and water. Um, I love this dough because irregularity is embraced and we all need a bit more of that in our lives. Um, you, there is no, you can, there's no equipment needed. You don't need to roll the pasta dough out and it looks really impressive, but in reality are very easy to make. So the exercise we're doing, and I call them exercises, is the whole premise of this book is self-care. So I really wanted to walk you through each step calmly and slowly. I guess similar to how you would walk through a yoga position or a workout. Um, we've shot them all overhead. So it's the same view as you would see, you know, because there is nothing more confusing looking at something at the wrong angle. So the exercise shape we are going to do is a cavatelli. Now a cavatelli is basically um, a any anything that is carved and hollowed out, and it has a number. It's made a number of different ways and called a number of different things depending where you are in Italy. Now you'll see most likely you would have seen this sort of board. Um, which is great to have. It's a little um, knocky cavatelli board and you can roll the dough out on this and it, and it creates a little ridges. But you can also roll it on pretty much anything, literally a bench, wooden bench. Um, I've done it on a strainer, a microplane, a grater, uh, really anything. I've also, these are my Saturday night pasta boards um, and I've carved beautiful little flower uh, star shape and that also looks really great too. But really, you don't need any equipment. So let's get rolling. Okay, to start this shape, we have rolled out a sausage shape from the semolina dough, which is the base shape for most, um, for a lot of the different pasta exercises from the book. And you're gonna cut in one centimeter pieces. Don't worry too much on uh, size and measurements. I never cut them exact. Um, it just means that if you cut them bigger, your pasta will be a bit bigger. So I'll show you first on the um, knocky board, which is what um, is most well known. And all you do is you lightly flour, just that's the key to any rolling the shape over any equipment is to keep it floured so nothing, so nothing sticks. Okay, so you are going to place a piece of dough at the top of the board, place the side of your thumb at the tip of the dough, and then roll or drag the dough down the knocky board so it almost curls over your thumb. And you get this lovely little shape with ridges um, that then also catches the sauce. So dough up the top, thumb in, drag down the board and let it curl over your thumb. Down, drag down and just keep it, keep it floured. You don't need to press um, too hard, but if you do, I'm gonna show you something. If you press really hard, you might see it sticks. If you just give it a little gentle flick, it, it really bounces back, so you know it. Don't worry too much. Um, okay, to show you on a microplane, so most people have one of these. Um, you just press down, and it captures, picks up the pattern of the microplane. Um, okay, down again. Oh, that one's stuck, but I can just roll it. Don't press too hard on this. It's it's um harder than the, the knocky board because it actually does get stuck through. Um, a grater, little bit of flour, 
down and roll. And this one looks like a little little hedgehog. Um, okay, my flower board. And down, and you see a beautiful pattern on the dough. Um, I was even proving, <laughs> proving a point to a friend, and we rolled the the um, the dough on the top of a crusty sourdough loaf, and it picked up the shapes. You can do it on a board, and this is similar to macaroni artistita, which is also in the book. And you just drag it down the board. And again, it curls around your fingers. Uh, cavatelli, as I said earlier, means hollowed out, catching the sauce. So really, whilst you can use equipment, you don't need to use equipment. Um, and it's one of the shapes that people really love making because it's easy to make, but it looks great. Um, and it's a great one to do with, with friends because you can all be around the bench rolling uh, dough on all different things. So here they all are lined up. And it doesn't matter if they're all um, have different patterns on them. So this is Cavatelli, page 73. Oh, and I forgot to show you the sieve, which every household has. So um, excuse me while I do this one-handed. Look at that beautiful pattern. There you go.